<laughs> Motherfucker. I'm telling you, something's trying real, real hard. Real, real hard to, 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 to fuck with my show. Thank God Almighty, I'm Aries in heart. I am not going to give up. I will not stop. I am relentless. Whatever is trying to stop me, fuck you. I'm a tough one. You're going to have to try a whole better than that to break this bark, let me tell you. I've, and then let me tell you, I've been going through the, the drama is still going on. They cannot do the surgery until October, the motherfuckers. So I'm flying back to Houston next week to see my dentist there and, could, and, do, and begin the procedures. And then I'm going to fly back to New York and see another orthodontist from NYU. Fuck Columbia. And this, these are my people. And what? For the grace of God, I'm still, you know, because I have to maintain it. They still got to do an exploratory surgery. The fuck out of here. I'm telling you, this side of the is getting me good. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm already a winner. You don't go through all this stuff for nothing. There's got to be something at the end of the tunnel. And I'm in pain, blisters, as we speak. But fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to show the guards just how that they made the right one. It, it's just been Damn. And if it's not that, it's the music. If it's not the music, it's my fucking health. If it's not that, it's the YouTube. If it's not that, it just, it just on and on and on and on. Well, I just said it is a fuck. Didn't I say that? It is a fuck. I'm eating more, though, on the lighter side, on the positive side. I'm eating more. Yeah, the weight loss is still, I'm getting a little bit back. I'm getting a little bit back. I'm getting a little bit back. You know, I'm getting a little bit back. Oh, how are you guys doing? Well, you already know I'm, you know, going through it. And I can't work out either. They say, no, don't work out. You're going to shrink even further. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It's all right. Ah, uh, yeah, my blisters. So you know, fuck you, blisters. Fuck you. I have to fucking, I have to, you know, cursing all this. Believe it or not, it makes it better for me. I feel better when I curse you. Like I, I feel better because I'm relentless. I refuse, refuse for these things to get the better of me. I fucking refuse. Oh, the beat. Bada. Dame Bento. Okay, Mensa. How's everybody doing? Well, Miss Farmer's here in New York with me. She's flying back tomorrow, and I'm flying right after her to take care of my shit. I put in more extensions on my hair. You know? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you don't like this openness here. I got my own hair, which I saved over the years, and I'm calling it, and I'm going to extend it. I do my own hair. As a high priest, I'm not allowed anyone to touch my hair on my head. Like Samson. Nothing new under the sun now. Yes, I know. I see the weight loss on my face. I know. It's like, I know, I know. Don't worry. I'm going to bounce back. You all need to see this. You all need to see me go through. You all need to see your uncle go through this. So, so, because if I can do it, so can you. God don't give us more than we can bear. Remember that. God don't give you more than you can bear. You can beat this. Whatever you're going to, you can beat it. 
Just beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. No one's got to see you beat it. <laughs> that song, mm, beat what? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. I bought some uh, citronellas. I know that's a cold spell in New York. It's killing them. You know, and this arrangement cost me like 200 bucks. <coughs> I, I spent 200 bucks a week on flowers and roses. Please, it's only money. We're going to die one day and leave it all behind. So what does it matter? <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, too much light? I don't think it's too much light. Let's, let's, let, let's reduce the light a little bit. Let's reduce the light a little bit. Uh oh, oh, there we go. That is that good? You know, it, it casts it casts a little shadow. Let's see here. Oh. Mm. People tell me, Fernanda, don't 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 do it too much. Oh, there you go. I oh, know. Now it doesn't look as bright as it was, but anyway. I got a lot to tell you. A lot to tell you. Oh boy. I don't even know how to begin. I'm almost caught up with a lot of you that have done your birth charts. I'm almost caught up. So we're back on schedule. I'm doing like some of you, I'm doing every day. thing. It's Sunday. It's not. I had a good day today, I got to say. Uh, you know, Miss Farmer is here with me in New York. She's been here for a few days uh, to uh, make sure that my surgeries and my stuff are going in order. Uh, she leaves tomorrow. I fly back in a couple of days to continue my procedures there and then fly back to New York and find my whole different team of specialists and surgeons for my team. I'm still going through it. But... You know, I can handle it, and I and I and I can handle it because of you, and your prayers, and your love, and your dedication, and your donations, helping everything, pay for everything. We got because of your donations, by the way. We got two more people scholarships for next term for uh, the people's astrology for the school, the new school of Alexandria. Two ten thousand dollars each. Two full scholarship next semester because of you, your money, your donations. And I want you to check me out. Check me out because half the fun for me is proving it. Yes, I'm happy about that. I got people coming into school with your money, scholarship money. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is amazing. This is it's all you. You are doing this. You. And I can prove it. I'll talk to my lawyer, my accountant, okay? That, that's half the fun. <laughs> uh. mm. Yes, Miss Farmer. Everybody's giving Miss Farmer a shout out. Miss Farmer come again. They say, give her face. You know, scope, but she don't want to get face. Oh, oh. Well, I am at my happiest when I'm here with you. Otherwise, I'm with the sword, fighting. Fighting. But this, I look forward to this. I, I can only do one every two or three days. I'm so busy. You know? But I'm trying to end up going through this crisis. And this is only the storm surge. The storm surge. Imagine at the eye of the storm when it hits. Mm. But I think that when it hits, everything's going to be balanced and good. Now, before I begin and open the forum, let me see who's here. Notice I'm not using my mind to find. The alcohol is finally 
winning itself out of my system. And I've been drinking a lot of teas, a lot of uh, a lot of teas, a lot of teas, a lot of water. I'm drinking sweet wine, sweet white, only seven percent alcohol. Yeah, because you cannot quit altogether. It's not good. My doctors don't advise it. You've been drinking heavy like I do. You don't quit like that. It could be equally as dangerous. So, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a damn. It's like a, it, it, I don't know which drug is worse. Heron or heroin. Which also does a devastation to the body upon withdrawing, which can kill you. Alcohol is the same way. You stop drinking, you start getting delirium tremors. You know, you can you can you can die from it. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Thank God I'm a I'm a strong motherfucker and I can handle it. Guys, use me as an example. Don't drink like this. Don't drink like this, like I have. Yes, I'm strong. I'm a shaman. I know what to do. I'll bounce back. But don't you all, my children, my, 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 you know, you're all my children. Don't drink like this. Two or three drinks, seven drinks a week for you young folks. Go to the gym, run, do something, eat, and work it out. I'm 53. Yes, look good for 53. I want to continue to look good at 73. So, warning. Oh, what is this pop-up? I thought, Miss Farmer, I thought we were done with the pop-ups. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a go. No me de tortura china. Una chinola. Dominican called Una chinola. Mm. Oh, the big. I got these for my, for the blisters. Oh, I ain't gonna let nothing stop me. Stop my flow. I listen, listen, listen. I ain't gonna let nothing stop my flow or my show. Oh, okay. Dalia Vision. Okay, let's go there. Okay, everybody. Uncle Fernando still has to drink. The doctor says I have to. She just can't stop like that. So I got this, and, and I am not getting any money or any endorsement by this company. I'm just recommending it because your uncle drinks it. And it's less than 7% alcohol. It is a white wine sweet. Too sweet is not good for you either. But just enough. I've, I've, my friend who actually owns the company, uh, the, the liquor store company, not the wine company. I know, I know a few, though. But not this one. Uh, this is Frizz the Cats, a smooth and fruity wine, Riesling. Now, I, I think that's a kangaroo or a cat. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. 7% is better than 80 proof, 150 proof. That's what your uncle is usually drinking. And if you're Dominican, you know that Dominicans drink very heavy. You know, that scotch, that cognac. You know, if you're Dominican, you know how your uncle drinks. So I cannot have those drinks anymore. No whiskey, no scotch. And I love it. I, I love me some scotch. I had to stop all of it. I had to get rid of my bar. I had a beautiful bar. I had to get rid of it. I had to get rid of everything. Well, you said I have no bar here. No alcohol. That's called self-love. It is self-love. And I mix it with uh, orange juice or chinola, which is a fruit. It's a fruit, it's not alcohol. So I mix it and with a lot of ice, you water it down and it's okay. I have my weed, which I, I was given permission to smoke, even though I'm having work done. 
when when those real surgeries begin, I cannot smoke. Uh oh, if that's what it takes. Uh oh, they're telling me that my connection is unstable. That I might lose the stream at any moment. It gets Saturn. Fierce. 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 Right? Okay. It's unstable. It keeps going off. After all the money that we spent on this. Can you be fucking believe this? I don't even know if they can see me. Oh, oh, we're back. Okay. It's terrible. It's unstable. They just sent us a notification. We have to... Uh, oh, the rain. Right. Because I, I would say we we'll have to contact our legal team. Because this is ridiculous. I think because we won that suit against Google, and maybe they're getting back at us. Because, you know, we won against Google, a powerful company. I can't talk about that. But at least they know that I'm a force to reckon with. Now, let me see who's here. Let's see who are. Let's 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 uh, let's see who is here. Who's here? Yeah. Okay. Um, who's here? Who's here? Uh oh. -uh. Oh wow. I I'm I'm going all the way up. Okay, guys. I'm going all the way up. Uh, I have nectar lotus. Jasmine Spiegel, Tanya T, B Creative Tarot, Vanetta Sutton, Luz Mendez, Alhaira Vibrant, Erica XD, Armani Chambers, Erica XO, Mercy, Anna Stein, Stein, Tef Kenya K Master Butler. Actually, I love it. Summer Breeze. How are you? Lydia Morton. Shinny G TV. Okay. Will Types. Star C. Uh-huh. Keisha McCain. Kaya Kola. Rosie, you. Ah, uh -huh. Rick Locked. Aaron Wilson, Lana Tucci. Hey, yes, how are you? Ivana. Ivana Hera. Oh, Ivana here. Uh huh, uh huh. Will Tai Nine, Daniel S. Aha, uh -huh. okay. How are you? How are you? If I'm salivating because of the blisters, yeah, it's painful. But you know what? I, I, you soldier on. That's all. You soldier on. Yes, I'm doing golden beetle locks as a form of protection. Yes, it's protection. And and it's and it comes from one of my uh, magical wands that I've prepared from Africa. Well, well, this is from India. Uh, this is African. And I embroider it. Yes, I I protect my, the, put the armor of God. For me, nature is God. So I armor myself with nature, and I always win because you cannot win against nature. So you commune with it, and you're all right. All right, who else is here? I'm still working on it though. Like if this is the second phase. That is the first phase is to put it on. Then you got to put the beeswax. Then the second phase is you do another layer, right? 
and then you have to let it uh, dry, and then you got to do another layer. And, and you, you got to do it in a way where it doesn't break the hair. And then you got to treat it. Oh, my God, it's a process. And we're putting more hair here, my real hair, which I have in the altar. Here, I'll show you. I have here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? It's no big deal. It only takes a second. All it takes a second. See? I've been growing my hair for ages. This is not the first time I've had my hair like this. See? These are my hairs. I take them and I save them, and then I, I attach them, you know, now, and I tie them up, and I, and I treat them, put a special solution to make it grow and then tie it. I mean, it's a process, and you got to clean and treat the hair. You know, I use a lot of olive oil, vitamin E, coconut oil, palm oil, all natural. Let it incubate, then you, you it's a living essence. It's, it's a living essence. No, and then I put it on. Oh, yeah. It is a process. And I got, I got my little friend here, just in case. The lighting, you know. It's like being on stage. You got to find yourself, because, you know. No, I know people think I'm narcissistic or hard. But maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. But damn, you have to. You all see what I go through. All right. Let's see. Let's answer some of your questions, guys. This is Sunday Talks with Uncle Fernando. Yeah, so uh, fire away. Oh, well, first of all, let me uh, let me show and share with you, excuse me, an experience. Um, oh, thank you. I love you, too. I love you, too. Uh, be, create, be creative, Tarot. I'm glad you liked it. But... It is it's an earthquake banging good beat. Yes, you. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna use that. It is an earthquake banging good beat. <laughs> Y'all can hear the music, really? You can hear it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's crazy. Okay. Uh, I got to say, uh-oh, uh, Will Tai is giving a shout out to Miss Farmer. Bon, good evening. Scorpios are private. Yes, they are. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Farmer. Yeah. Y'all giving us, she's waving to you guys. You know, Miss Farmer is private. Oh, Tanya said that she's glad to see you here yeah, with me. Uh, yes, yeah, she's the only man. She loves you too. Yes. No, essential wave. It's not seven bottles a week, seven glasses a week. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> it must be the week because I'm all very light and nice. Because, you know, a, a little a little relief from the fucking pain. Damn, a little bit of relief. Damn. You know, just, yeah, a little, but let me feel a little nice. You know, I, I, mean, I, I, go, I go to print every day, 24-7. And uh, with a little rest in between. I'm just used to it because I'm very mentally strong. And I was in the military. I can take pain. But so sometimes, thank God, that they give me a respite. Oh, wait. Get the pass out. There's a beat. There's a beat. Right? Right? There's a beat. Right? Right? Yeah.
Yeah, you gotta relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nature communes with you where you change your mind. You can't stay in a negative thought. Switch, change the thought. Switch it, switch it. Yes. Now, before we begin, let me tell you, a lot of you have been calling me and texting me and emailing me about the dreams that some of you are having about a meteor breaking through the sky and coming over and, and going through our breaking through our atmosphere and coming in. Let me tell you. I asked somebody, I asked somebody call me yesterday, say that there's a huge meteor coming this way. And, and, and she, she broke it in detail. And, and named the nine faces of the moon. Yo, I'm like, and it was in color. When you dream in color, it's not the subconscious, it's up, it's coming. It, the, I had 19 people call me with the same dream. A lot of you are having dream and, and saying, yes, it's, it's been cold, it's August. It's been so fucking cold. People are not, it's cold. That's not normal. There's something happening out there and it's affecting our weather. Don't think that people are not taking notice. They are. People are talking about it. It was so cold that my plants started dying. I mean, it was cold, like late, uh, late September. It's creepy. The sky doesn't feel and look the same. I'm not saying that whatever comes here is going to annihilate us. No, that's not going to happen now. I'm telling you, that's not going to happen now. But we're going to get a scare, a brush. The beat. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk. Oh, Scorpio ascendant underscore Pluto first says, I wish Uncle did a topic on the spiritual meaning behind cannabis. We'll do it now. Wait. Cannabis. Oh, can I cannabis candida or candidate? the other species of marijuana they look similar the the acetronella is a species of weed of the cannabis candida which is the actual name of the species and subgenus is cannabis and it's broken down into other subspecies but this is one of the species of the cannabis candida which is a uh, uh, the citronella yes Yes. Talk to a botanist. Yeah, yeah. Look very similar. Oh, the beat. Yes. Very spiritual. It opens the psychic nerve centers of the brain, of the hypothalamus, and the adrenal cortex. Now, the adrenal cortex are here. They sit above the kidneys. Through the process of the endocrine system, uh, which stimulates the thymus gland and the glands underneath the armpits and the, and the adrenal cortex and the spleen, major centers where hormones are secreted into the body. The word hormone from the Greek hormona means urge, urgent. These are impulse urges that are being sent to certain organ systems in the body to stimulate certain euphoric effects that helps the body physically, like giving it great might and energy, like testosterone, or uh, opens up what we call the pain and pleasure centers of the pons, which uh, ignites the pineal gland and opens the doors towards euphoric imagination. This is what cannabis does. It opens those doors. 
And depending upon the spiritual evolution of the person, it could be a good trip or a bad trip. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So that is, and shamans of all ages have used cannabis and other hallucinogens like the ayahuasca, another species that, is, that does not belong to the cannabis candida and belongs to another species of plants, far more stronger, which can actually loosen the doors of the third eye. It can cause insanity because it, it, it softens the ponds. Very dangerous plant. Oh, the bee. You know, it does come in plant, flower, and bark species. Oh. That bee. So, you got to know what you're doing. If you're not a shaman, don't you know, leave nature alone if you don't know what you're doing. Now, and I, unless you're a shaman like me, then yes. And even then, you need permission because you just cannot go and touch nature. Will you touch a, will you grab a, a woman's breast in public or in private? It's a violation against that woman. So doing that to these trees and these plants and fucking with these chemicals is like grabbing a tit of a woman without permission. Nature is feminine and she has the right to hold her secrets. But it's for the wise and for who is ready. Be careful with these substances. Because evil is both in nature. Good and evil is both in nature. Don't get your hand burnt. Oh. The beat. Yeah. 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 Uh, Leo. And we're entering Virgo soon. So that's extra, extra, extra juicy. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Uh, I don't know if, if, if um, you guys are asking questions. Yes, you know, it's very good. Idalia Vision, I am Pisces and Gemini Moon. Aquarius Rising. You are going to bring visionary in a very intellectually way. You can take an emotional, even spiritual vision, being the sun in Pisces, and actually give it the intellectual form and explanation that it deserves. This is why you have the moon in Gemini. It's a square for sure, a mutable square. It makes you very creative when, when you give knowledge of a higher level, which is um, which is um, very Aquarius. But it's also very Pisces because from Aquarius, you have Pisces. I mean, if you need me to move that, you know, that so that's beautiful. You are going to herald the age by showing spirit and giving it an actual form that can be intellectually understood by others. Good for you. Love it. Other questions? Say, Turner, I'm feeling good because I'm here with you guys. I'm feeling very good because I'm here with you guys doing what I love to do. Hello. Hello, how are you? Happy birthday. September 19th. Yes, my birthday is September 19th. Me and my twin, because I do have a twin brother, guys. You'll forget. I have a twin brother, an exact twin, but he's very different from me. Very different. He's totally primary. I'm antithetical. I'm spiritual. Oh, I'm different. So I see, but different. We're just different. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of God, is that we can be different. This is God's way 
of showing his own uniqueness through personality and ego. God gave us life, and what we make of it is our gift to God, remember? So this is my gift to God, my personality, my uniqueness. There'll never be another Fernando, Uncle Fernando like me, and there'll never be another you either. And that's to be celebrated, especially now during Leo season. <laughs> I can't stop laughing or smiling throughout the whole month. <laughs> oh, that's a big game. But yes, <laughs> you, have to, you have to enjoy yourself. We only have one life to live at a time. What else? What else? Okay, Wildcat, Uncle, tell me about Saturn in the first house. Oh. That's like Saturn in Aries. Oh, wait. Save the beat. Before I begin that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What can I tell you? Saturn in the first house is tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I have many charts of people with Saturn in the first house. I they send me letters, pages, and I'm in tears. The pain. Oh, Saturn and the ascendant is is is, is like Saturn in Aries. It's tough. He's attacking the ego the personality, and the physical body. Saturn is tough here. Yeah. But if you survive it, it'll make you like Robocop. You should see that movie, Robocop from 1986. Saturn attacked the physical body. He was broken in pieces. He had to be rebuilt with bionic robot pieces. This is Saturn in Aries. It maims the body. Yeah. Yeah. It's happened to me. With the spine. There were years where I couldn't walk. I had to be on wheelchairs. I had to learn to walk. Sciatica. Oh my God. I can't I can't think of those days. Powerful. A true devil here. Saturn. It's worse. The first house and Aries. And it's fall. If it's in the first house, it is in its accidental fall. We call it accidental fall. Because it's not Aries, but it's the first house of Aries. And it, and, it, and it comes straight for the physical body. It maims the physical body. Yeah. Okay. I hope that's satisfied. Tiam Formancy. Wait a minute. Uh, Miss Farmer, I'm so sorry. Could I have the magnifying glass there? I don't want to misspell people's names. So for you, I would take the magnifying glass. Uh, uh, this young lady here. What's her name? She has Pomeroy. four hearts for me. Pomeroy. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Pomeroy. What is her name? Pomeroy. Mama Sua. <laughs> Pomeroy. Barbara York. Barbara York. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot I had this on. That we was good. I didn't even know I had this bitch on me. That's crazy. Pomeroy. Pomeroy. Like pomegranate. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Now, what was her question? Tian Pumer. Pomeroy. Pomeroy. Tian Pomeroy. I am Leo's son. I am Leo. Leo's son, Leo Moon, Leo Venus, Leo Mercury, Leo Rising. Can you give me some advice, please? And she's very pretty. I can see her picture. Yes. You are here to be an example of love. You are to speak love with Mercury in Leo. You are to show love through your beauty with Venus in Leo. And you are to speak and feel the love of yourself reflected upon the other. And you are to be happy with your own self because that will make other people feel happy with their own self. So your whole existence for living is to live as an example of love for others. Oh, the beat. That's my advice. I, now always be happy, regardless of what happens to you. Let the sun always shine. Yes. 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 Pa, pa, da, pa, pa. Okay? That's my advice for you. Next. Thank you. Yeah, oh yeah. I embrace myself with nature. What is that? Excuse me, we got some anomalies going on. <laughs> what is that? Bud. A bud. Oh, a bud. Thank you, nature. <laughs> oh, God, I found a bud. That means that they want me to do another split. That's what that means. Okay. And I just so happen. Do I have any? Do I have some more split? I must have some there. Sure, I do. Oh, look at that. See, that was that was that was the reptilian. You saw he said you saw that, right? Not the right out. Like really big, like, like you see that and, and then they get mad when you call them demons. They get mad. You when you do tricks to stuff like that. Took the paper so I don't roll it. Not the right out. Miss Farmer, once you grab it and they just run like that. Like, like get a life. <laughs> Wait, uh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's no more paper. Damn. Okay. The wood is right up there. <laughs> and I had some more here, and I can't find it because I know he took it. They teleport shit from one here, and they, they do. And the people be thinking that you're crazy. Yes. Oh, the beat. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh. I... <laughs> Listen, it, it, listen, it, it gets the work done. Let's see. Uh, uh, um. Thank you. Uh, we find it, we got it, do we, is it? What? Oh, not need more than that, that little bit? Don't even do it like that, really? No, bring the bag. I can't. I can't even see this. I can't even see it. I have to put a microscope to look at it and appreciate it. <laughs> well, out there, no, because he took it. Thank you. I, thank you. Because he took it. Yes, you did. I put it right here. And you saw me. I put it here and it ended up over there. They took Thank you. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> All right. My wine, gotta have at least one forty percent. Anything below can't do it. Oh my God. Work me smooth and slow, Capricorn. <laughs> Uncle Fernando, how are you? Black Space, how are you? Brittany, Straw, Essential Way. Oh, good. I think the the chat was stuck. I couldn't see your questions because then Saturn, I, I, it just now started moving. I can't see the moving of the chat. 
It's fucked. It's fear. That's why I'm not getting any. That's why I'm not answering your questions. The chat is not moving. Mm -hmm. The Pisces woman is magical. The Pisces woman, the Pisces woman is magical. She's magical. Magical. I think in my entire life, I have slept with two Pisces women. And I'm 53, and I still remember 30 years later. The, the Pisces woman is magical. She's 12 women in one. Magical. Like Scorpio. And like Leo. And Taurus. Don't forget the Earth Goddess, Taurus. And then I've had an I've experienced, you all know, a taste of the Earth Goddess. A little taste is better than no experience at all. So I'm good. <laughs> but if I get some more, I, well, okay, all right. I know it's Sunday. I can't, I can't think like that no more. That's dumb. I can't think like that no more. Yeah. And that be okay. Even I'm a Tory. Can you give me some advice in love, please? Miss Chavon, Miss Torres. Me give you advice about love? I should be asking you. <laughs> you got this better than any sign in the zodiac. Now, since she's playing, she's being quiet. <laughs> That's what? You simply being. But if I really do have to give you an advice, Miss Taurus, love yourself first and foremost. Morning, noon, and night. Love yourself. That's the advice I can give you. And everything falls in place, Miss Taurus. Oh, Tom Buena. Mira, it's my Rivera singing about women. That women are all fine. Que buena, que buena, que buena, que buena, que buena son las mujeres. I say, hey, look, right? It's my Rivera. That man loved women. He loved what? What? When? You got. If you're Spanish, you know. If you're not, learn that one. That that motherfucker right there. <laughs> Well, anyway, yes, Miss Torres, love yourself. Cancer rising, Libra sun, Scorpio north node, advice. The Libra sun sign with a Cancer moon. It's a cardinal square. But with the North Node and Scorpio, I believe is what she said. You're here to not be oop oop doop or oop oop doop, oop oop doop. No, you're not to be that dainty type of Libra. You're the Libra that is the investigator into deep, deep emotional mysteries and depths of emotions and feelings that take you to a whole rainbow of emotions that are intense, that you know that you are alive from the inside out. The cardinality of the moon in Cancer is gonna open you into a world of feelings and emotions, some good, some bad and some so deep that only God can rescue you and pull you out. The North Node in Scorpio, you're here to experience the depth of human emotions. Enjoy the ride, Miss Libra, Sun, Cancer, Moon, North Node, Scorpio, because you're in the ride, and I hope it is not your final destination.
Oh. Yes. Palante, palante, palante. Ah, 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 ah. I'm a Gemini sun, Aries moon, sun, Sagittarius rising. Wow. Sun in Gemini with an Aries moon and Sagittarius rising. You have a, 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 a grand fire trine with the moon and with air, the opposite polarity of Gemini Sagittarius and the Ascendant can make you have nervous trouble, central nervous system trouble, stomach problems, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease. Be very careful. That's a lot of energy, Gemini. You have to put it to use. Burn it out. Work it out. You got to work it out. This is a lot of fire. I have an Aries moon and my Mars is Sagittarius. A lot of a lot of energy, a lot of energy, a lot of energy, Gemini. And you will implode. You better work it out. Work it out. Oh, work it out. You have to work it out, Gemini. Next, Pisces woman, March six. You're here to love and be loved. Number six, Venus. Venus is exalted in Pisces. You're, you're very beautiful. The men are going crazy, even young boys. Next. Aurora Purvis, your Leo rising. You're also beautiful. Regal, don't trust too many female friends. They hate you behind closed doors. Leo with a Capricorn rising. We call this Leo with Capricorn rising the Jekyll and Hyde personality. She'll be a bitch, a boss. Don't smile, don't talk to you. Wearing gray suits, dull colors. She's the top bitch in the company. But when it comes to five o'clock and everybody punches out, and you know, after work, especially on a Friday, you go for that happy hour in them restaurants and bars. Well, Miss Leo with Capricorn Rising, if you catch her on the right night, she'll be the one stripping on top of the table, throwing her shoe out and letting her hair out and being a woman whom you did not know existed behind all that revere. Mm. The lioness cat comes out and she's ready to play. <laughs> we have here the Jekyll and Hyde with the with the Leah woman with the Capricorn rising. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> mm. I hear Aquarius Sun Leo Moon. Aquarius Sun Leo Moon. Uh, I'll answer that. That's a polarity. That's a polarity. Aquarius, Sun, Leo, Moon. Here, you're going to be at odds with yourself, and, and you're going to be a bundle of contradictions. You're going to oscillate from one to the other. Allow it to happen, because you learn from both sides. Just don't lose yourself in the interior. Don't choose a cornerstone of the absolute truth, but both of them. I know that the truth changes and evolves with each oscillation. And each oscillation, it can be seven years apart, five years apart, in which you learn a new perspective of life and of yourself through a seesaw pattern. This is the sun and the moon in opposition of Leo and Aquarius. Oh, my God, the battery is dying. Hold on, everybody. Mm.
Okay, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, the guy, right in, so you're in time for the beat. Oh, wow. Love it. Okay. Uh, Lynn C, Aries Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Leo Rising. Oh, my God. Lovely. Just lovely. Here with Aries Sun, Aquarius Moon. Very altruistic. Very homogenous. You fit everywhere. Anywhere. But you are going to find yourself with the elite, the beautiful, and the privileged. Enjoy it. Because that's where you should be. And that's where you're going to make a difference. Okay. King. The dingaling, King Dingaling. Oh, oh. Hi, friend. Oh, wait, wait. You know, so I party. You know, so I party. Oh, that be. And, uh, okay. What is Mr. Dingaling got to say? King Dingaling. So he got to be, you know. All right. Well, boss, what are you saying? Hi, Fernando. What can you say about advancing in career, having a trine? With Saturn and Venus being a Scorpio Sun, Virgo Moon, Gemini Ascendant. Also, do you think you will resume birth charts? Not right now. Maybe in the new year, maybe December. I'm, I still have a lot more to go through, you know. So I don't know yet. I don't think so though. No. What, what? Now, let me tell you, uh, that's a lot there. In your career, women are gonna play a big role in your career, especially older women. So King Dingaling, stay viable and virile. Women will open the doors for you. The trying to Venus, and remember, Saturn is exalted in Libra, and Libra is ruled by Venus. So this is a good combination. It's also very transactional. Oh, so you don't have sex for money. If you're gonna love these women, Mr. Dingaling, come from the heart. Because when you do that, you gain so much more. But I already feel your energy from that. Women will open their hearts, their wallets, and their legs if you play your cards right, Mr. Dingle. And it ain't the size, it's how you use it. All right? And I can mean that literally or metaphorically. You choose. Okay? Now, next. Next. Marva CB, I love and miss you too. Hi, Bravo. Real talk time. Real talk to you now. All right. Who else is here? Uh, Sonny Diaz. I'm Cancer Sun, Sagittarius Moon. And Leo Rising. In Western astrology, what does that mean? Well, you have... Well, this is a complex situation. Sonny Diaz, I'm Cancer Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Leo Rising in Western Astrology World. That, what does that mean? Well, it means that you are sensitive, caring, optimistic, with the moon in Sag, a little dogmatic. Your upbringing will decide 
which way you're going to go mentally, philosophically. It can be rigid, stubborn. The moon is sag. You'll be surprised how stubborn. Even though it's a mutable position for the moon. That horse <laughs> is, is stubborn. Like a mule. The moon in Sagittarius, especially in a woman's chart, doesn't seem to be very favorable. Men don't like an opinionated woman. Keep your opinions to yourself if you want to keep a man. Men don't like opinionated women. And pushy, aggressive. With a Sag moon, you could be a real bitch and pushing your philosophy and your needs and your beliefs on other people. Don't let it get too far where it turns men off. Keep your wisdom to yourself and only use it when necessary. Be secure within yourself without having to prove it. That's the bad essence of the Sag moon. The need to prove that you're smart, that you know what you're talking about. To dominate somebody else's philosophy over your own. Even be dogmatic. Be careful here. Measure your worth and your ability to connect with other people and other people's philosophy without fighting it or fighting them. Miss Cancer. Okay? And you'll be all right. Cosmic stylus. Aries sun. Aries moon. Aquarius rising. Sag midheaven. Wow. 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 I sag midheaven with the sun and moon in Aries. And Aquarius ascending. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That's a fantastic position for the world traveler. You should be on a plane 24 7, going everywhere. Wow. Sagittarius on the mid heaven. You'll be traveling all your life. Oh, I love it. Being yourself everywhere you go. And being a visionary with Aquarius on the Ascendant. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. Fascinating. 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 I can't. I can't. And I mean it. I can't. I got to go now, unfortunately. Because I still got church to do. And prepare for to, for Monday's classes. My first year students and my second year students who are doing wonderful, by the way. Registration begins Monday. We begin the new semester and the new year in September. For those of you who want to register and, and be um in the school, we begin the new semester begins in September. So, if you're interested, apply. Know that you have to take prerequisite courses. And if you think you, you qualify for the scholarship, go to my website, the New School of Alexandria and the People's Astrologer. All the way at the bottom, you see the header, that's where the school is. You click it, all the requirements are there. If you feel that you require, that you qualify, submit your letters today, this month. Registration begins on the 21st of September. So pull in your application. The way you do that is that you send an email to Keisha Farmer, Fernando Prudhomme at Gmail. Send an email letting her know that you want to enroll in the school. And then she will alert me and we'll take it from there. Okay? Uh, registration closes on the 19th, on my birthday of September. After that, no more students will be selected. Remember, it's only 12 students per year. So if you are interested and if you think you qualify for the scholarship, let Ms. Keisha know, contact her. We send you the application. We accept two per year. So guys,
Thank you. And please donate. Keep your donations coming at 347-485-6258. Zelly, I'll put it down, uh, which goes directly to me. And then I use that money to do what I do. And as far as the sets, no. And providing the monies for the salaries and also for my own expenses. And then uh, you, the people's, uh, the PayPal that slash Keisha Farmer, which goes into the administrative aspect of the school, which also aids in the scholarships. So I'll put it right here. Oops. Guys, three, four, seven, four, eight, five, six, two, five, eight. And that gel. And thank you guys for donating. Those of you who have been donating. And I want to contact you because I want to put your names in the charter of the school. So because you guys have been donating and I want your names in the school charter. Yes, I'm, I'm speaking to my attorney to make that happen. You, people are going to know who you are. And I want your name in there because you donated. You're giving money. So I want your name in there. And yes, this is, you get this money back because this is LLC. This is donation. That money is, you know, you can get that back in your taxes. Uh, so let's do that. Just call me and let me know if you have any, oh, did I do something? I don't even know if I did this right. I just put it there and it kind of erased it again, Saturn. Saturn. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I just did it, right? And I don't think it went through. Okay. I press. I tried to have a truth, says Peace, and um, uh, yes, a uh, super chat. Yeah, the, uh, uh, well, that's the other thing. We're trying to figure out why Super Chat is not working on my channel. It's been like that for years. That was part of the problem that we have with Google, and we still have this problem. Uh, okay. Uh, here is uh, Keisha Farmer that, on the PayPal. That me slash Keisha Farmer. And you all know that Keisha Farmer is a uh, child of Oshun. That's her. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, guys, uh, I'll see you soon.